Okay, this is what we're building. We're gonna make a new sifter and we're gonna make it bigger. This one's kind of small, but we're gonna do the same kind of concept. Um, so I got these nests all together, so it backs up, and I made this one small enough that it would fit in my backpack so we could go pack back and um, and dig for some crystals. So I built this one small, but we're going up, we're going up to Diamond Point, Arizona, um, and finding some crystals and we're allowed to dig right now it's digging season so i thought it would be good to build a bigger one if you ever got a boot stuck down in your engine you can pull it out with a coat hanger All right, so I built it like this so that the that the legs that stand on um, are solid with the top, so that when you shake it, it just goes back and forth like this, and just the bottom ones move. So that's what I'm going to do on the next one. Except hopefully I'm going to put some some uh, bungee cords that go down that will hold it kind of straight up. But this one you don't really need it. It works pretty good like this. Um, it's about a load or two of dirt from a shovel in there and then we can sift it out and and pick through it with the shovel so that's the plan we're going to make one um, a little bit bigger than that and we can hopefully find some all right so i got the sides cut i ended up going with uh 32 and a half uh, for the long side and then 24 for the short side because this mesh is 24 and i just happen to have about 32 inches on the legs so then they'll fit on the inside uh, of the thing you'll see when I get it put together so we have two screws in one two over here and then we're working on putting the next two in so these legs fit right inside there. Awesome. Okay, so I got the mesh all on here, and it's a little bit flimsy. I'm afraid it's gonna break when we start putting dirt in it. So I, uh, I ended up getting this piece of mesh, wire mesh. Uh, it's pretty, pretty solid. So I cut it to fit, and uh, I've got these little brackets. So I'm just gonna put them on there and screw them on on every, every one just to hold it in. I don't think I'm going to be able to get both sides. Maybe I'll just do one side. I don't know. Uh, we'll figure out as we go. I'm going, to, I'm going to start with the ends, see where that gets us. Okay, the next thing I have to do is I'm going to notch this this uh, two by three that I'm using for the leg out so that it'll fit over the uh, the frame and then it'll it'll kind of bump it in 
a little bit so that the kind of sit like that but we'll get that notched out I'll use the uh, table saw for that and get it notched out okay so I've got the table saw set up for the height and this is just a piece of scrap off of that that side yeah. of the frame I just got it set up for the height and also the width of this this piece of wood that I use for the frame and that's just three-quarter ply so that's, that's what height the blade is and rather than getting out a tape measure I just used the scrap piece I had from cutting the frame out to set my table saw up. So the first cut I'm going to make is I'm going to run this this uh, two by four through here like this, and then I'll set up the table saw um, for the next cut. So I'll do this tall cut first, and then I'll do the the cut going in, and that'll notch this out. All right. So again, I set the table saw up um, so that the the width was as wide as the frame that I got and the height was as high. So instead of doing height this way and width, height and width this way, I did height and width this way. So I should be able to cut out the, made the cuts in the two by fours here. And now I'll run this through and notch out that bottom part. All right, so I got my two by four legs cut out and I they fit pretty good right there. I'll just have to make some holes in them so I can put the hardware through. Okay, so I, I measured center in here for this, and then I'm gonna, I mark this on center, and I'm gonna drill a hole, and so I can put the support in for that. These boards, so that it would fit. And then it's going to be this way underneath, so it needed to be 24 inches wide. So I cut it so it would be 24 wide this way, and it would still fit inside of here. So it made it a little bit smaller than the sifter, but uh, hopefully, hopefully it's not too top heavy once we get going. I think once we start sifting and get some dirt on this, um, it'll hold it down good enough. But we'll go ahead and build it and see if uh, see if my calculations are correct. corners off something like that and then drill a hole in there
Hey babe, did you want to talk at all? I'm sifting. Check me out. Check me out, I'm sifting. Finding diamonds. Dad, is this a um, weed or a 